Hello, welcome back to this channel. We down like mathematics tutor Concord Tamakwata. Today we are going to talk about modulo arithmetic. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to find a number in a given modulo. In general, when you talk about modulo, we use the remainder as our final answer. So we pick the first subtopic under it which is calculation of a number in a given modulo. So when you have A mod B equals R, R is a remainder, therefore it becomes our final answer. In calculating modulo, when A is positive on the face of the clock, when A is positive, we move in the clockwise direction starting from zero and when a is negative two we move anti-clockwise starting from zero uh, b is the number of divisions on the face of the clock let's pick some examples and go through together the first example i have here is nine mode seven equals two. How did it come about the answer? Let's go through together. I have this clock and it is different from our normal clock having nine divisions. So this one, our normal clock always have 12 divisions. This is having seven divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always the modulo in which you are working on won't appear in your calculations. So we are working on modulo 7. When I write mode, it is a short form of modulo. So it is the same thing. Here, I have 9 mode 7. It means that our A is positive. Therefore, we are going to go in the clockwise direction, starting from zero. How many times? Nine times. So let's go through together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our hands is pointing on two. The two becomes our final answer. The second I have here is 13 mode 7. So it means that our division so should have a 7 division. Then we move in the clockwise direction. How many times? 13 times. Starting from 0. So let's go through together. We come back to our 0. Then we move 13 times. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Excellent. We fell on six. It means that our answer is correct, which is six. The next example we have here is negative seven mode five. should be what? Five. We can't use this clock because this is having a division of seven. We are going to use a clock having a division of five. I told you earlier on that the modulo in which we are working on won't appear in our calculations. Therefore, you are not going to see five anywhere here. So we are going to move in the anti-clockwise direction. How many times? Seven times. Starting from zero. So let's go through together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We landed on three. It means that negative seven mode five is three. The last example we have here is negative eleven mode five. 
Our A is negative. Therefore, we are going to move in the anticlockwise direction, starting from zero. So we start from zero and move in the anticlockwise direction 11 times. So let's go through together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We landed on four. Therefore, we can conclude that negative eleven mod five is four. How easy it is. To find the modulo of a number using the phase of a clock. Thank you for going through this lesson with me. I believe you are going to practice more on your own. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like, and share with your friends. So we meet again. Stay safe and learn hard. Bye.